Well, it's a beautiful Saturday morning, early June. Great breezes here just south of St. Augustine, and Joan and I are, are here at Fort Matanza. This is really a neat place. We've been by here many, many times and never pulled in. It's a national monument. And uh, you get to take a little boat ride over to the fort, which is kind of neat. So it's a busy day, tons of people here. I'm gonna walk around a little bit before our boat ride, show you some, um, some of the nature that's around here. I hope I can get a snapshot of a bird or two. It just doesn't look like they're out. It's just too humid right now, too late in the day. But Fort Matanza, right south of St. Augustine on A1A. I think this will be a neat little trip today. As you pull into the area, you can see there's just these beautiful little wooded areas. You can bring you a picnic lunch. You can see some folks down there doing that. Tons of parking. These just absolutely gorgeous water oaks. And then over here is where you go through the visitor center where the park rangers are at. And that's where we'll catch the boat over to the park in just a few minutes. But we're gonna enjoy a nice, cool breeze here. And there's a little nature park over here we're gonna walk down and see what we can find. Well, I'm not sure where this is gonna take Joan and I. This is a little nature walk. I hear voices. <laughs> You can just, as you walk along the tree, you can see some more water oaks. There's a pretty cedar to your right. Lots and lots and lots of palmetta. I would expect that. I was hoping to see some wildlife, maybe some birds or something, but so far, I guess it's just too hot and humid for them to be out yet. So the area is known for a bit of a conflict in 1565, think about that. Spain had claimed Florida and the French were not going to have any part of it. And there was a bit of a skirmish here back in that period of time. If you plan to come here, here's the great thing. This didn't cost a dime. So I'm really looking forward. I've driven by this place a hundred times probably over the years and never been back in here. So let's uh, turn the camera around and I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, before we go across the water. This is one popular place today. I mean, there's just boats and helicopter tours and all kinds of things going on. But let's zoom in and you'll see where we'll be going in just a minute. There's the fort way off in the distance. So it's not going to be a lot to see, but I think it'll be cool. And look at all the boaters out here. What a neat place. This is where we'll be catching the boat to go over and see the fort in just a minute. So we're on the boat. Come sit here, baby. <laughs> sweating. Very sweaty. Hot. Hot. But we're going to go right over here. My name is Paul, I'm your captain, and this range is filled. Listen up. These are life jackets overhead. Those of you listening will now know where they are. And children's life jackets are in that box. bombards it for about a month and he uses his ships to blockade the St. Augustine inlet. 
to prevent anyone from getting out to go for help. Now, he's not going to be able to knock down the big fort downtown. Uh, the Castillo and Fort Matanzas are built from a unique local limestone called Coquina. If you look closely at it, you'll see it's seashells that have been compressed together underground for thousands of years. This is an actual view of the fort. Sorry, it's going to be a little windy. I didn't bring my dead rabbit with me today. But I'll do a turnaround here so you can see everything. You can see the marshes out there. Big crowd today. in over here where Jones headed right now. That is the enlisted quarters and we'll go up top up here. Notice the bed here where they just racked them up side by side. And where they ate. And then over here is a cooking area. So here you can see the eating arrangements. And then over here by Joan would be really the cooking area as well. Kind of interesting, huh? Hard packed dirt floor. All right, let's go upstairs, see what we find. You just got to look at this view coming up from the camp, coming up from the uh, open river there. And then I'll show you out here through the marshes. It's really something. Look at this. Hold on, man. All right. We're gonna we're gonna go upstairs to the officers' quarters. You go up first, and then I'll send. You got him. Don't drop my son. This is the officers' quarters. You can see a single bed. Or go right behind him because you know he's going that ladder. And this is also the area to go up to the observation deck. She's standing there like this, ready to grab William. So we made it up top. Windy. We're going to have to go back down here. But look at this place up here. Is this incredible? Just incredible. Here's a view from the top. Jones looking for me. <laughs> there she is. 